family. Hi folks, can you see that? I've not zoomed in on it yet. Hi family. Okay, Alexa. Oh, I can see the one above it. I don't know if you can make it out. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.43 p.m. And Alexa, what date is it? Today is Monday the 22nd of July. There's a flying craft. Hi family. See the creature beast with the laser pens. Like I said, I've not zoomed in as yet. See it flying across the skyline. I've zoomed in slightly. Okay. Okay. Oh, see the creature beast. Now I'm going to ask my fans to confirm what I sort of ended on yesterday about the creature beast, sex offenders, etc, etc, being the lowest conscious, lowest consciousness life force, can't say the words, got my teeth in, lowest conscious life force, not just on earth, but in the solar system, in the galaxy. So when I say a conscious life force, I mean um, a being that has the ability to think for itself and has some autonomy over its own life. Okay. Um, my family have confirmed, kept on, or have repeated over and over again that even before they became visible, that um, no human would be involved in the Tolting program. No person with a soul would be involved in the Tolting program. Is that correct, family? And it's moving. Going upwards. Okay. They said a lot of other things regarding the creature beast. They've also said um, once people get into this program and they realise just what they've linked themselves to, they're going to be too scared. This was phrased over and over and over again too scared to live too scared to die. Is that correct, family? I can see it moving up and down. Okie dokie, I'm not moving the phone. And the last question regarding the lowest consciousness of beings, one of the lowest consciousness beings on earth or the creature beast or humans, in inverted commas, that have given up their soul, their energy, and their energy to get filled to an entity that feeds off them the food. For these, I keep saying this, I nearly swore then, that ah, makes change. Food for these beings, is that correct, family? So they are the lowest, the, the humans, the creature beasts, the sex offenders, the fucking dregs of our society, are the lowest life forms. So I'm just going to stick with one, so the creature bees first, are the lowest life forms in the solar system and on Earth that have got a conscious nature and a sense of autonomy. Is that correct, family? It's flashing, I don't know if it's moving side to side or upwards. Okay, see that? To me, it seems it's moving upwards, moving up and down, upwards. <laughs> yes, is it yes? Okay. Um, when I say, um, like I said yesterday, I went on, I went on one, I went on one, talking. Um, regarding the creature beast and I feel revulsion um, and I said to, um, before that if you know me anybody that knows me will be shocked the way I'm speaking about these fucking beasts okay will be really shocked um, even me swearing and saying the word cunt do you know what I'm referring to there's somebody else do you know what was I watching Sex in the City I remember Charlotte was going um, see you next Tuesday you don't say a word and even then 
even though I've sworn it, and I'm in thirties and blah blah blah. Um, oh, there's another flying craft. See if I can get it on camera. God, you were quick. You were there. I think the creature piece with the laser pen. So you, you, you'll have an idea where the flats are, where the creatures are living. Unfortunately, okay, and I would be shocked. I was like, oh, I wouldn't even have it in my consciousness. These creatures, and they are creatures, may look human, they have no human soul, are repulsive. Okay, they are not linked to humanity, not one little bit. And I mean the counselors, and I mean the um, housing officials, and the reason why um, is that correct, family? They're not linked to humanity. Okay, and I keep on saying this. Are you flashing for me? Yes. Okay. Um, the reason can't, I'm saying this, I want you to get it. I want you to want people to understand um, what's happening now. There's no need to be fearful, but I'm rather somebody that was approached by these beasts and says, fuck off, no way, I don't want to get involved, leave me alone, and gets on with their life. They become involved and then regret it, and then you're stuck with the energetic frequency of these beasts clinging on to your energetic field. We are not supposed to have anything attached to us as human beings. Animals don't, plants don't, and these creatures think it's okay because the pop stars have them on. Um, they've even said it in the videos, um, go back to the page, they've even said, you know, Prime Minister's got an entity attachment, and he has. Pop stars and the media, but in the media's got entity attachment. Yes, most of them have, and that's their how thick these fuckers are that they know that they are evil they know they're doing it to destroy humanity is that correct family they you know they're doing that but they can't do it directly okay and say so they the creature beast so they will um lie to the public they can't come out and say listen i'll be fucking hate you lot you fucking humans this couple of craft you see it i'm zooming are you family craft? Is that moving up and down? Zooms as much as can before it goes out of shot. See it changing colours. Sorry about that. Okay. Slow now. Should have zoomed in so much. Anyway, go back, go back, go back, go back. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. So, and people in the media know this. You pop stars, you comedians, your um, social influencers, and they've got handlers that tell them what to do, how to do it. Um, um, presenters and anybody you can think of that's in the media any media type of person is involved in this program is that correct family and i'm really thankful <coughs> excuse me that i'm not i'm not a media type to be disillusioned one of the persons um that i know gets it was a man who was on the channel somewhere and they said about um, people having heroes and people for not to have heroes. Don't look up to people you don't know. And I was saying that's the biggest sort of con in our culture. In the, and it's, I think he was British. It sounded like a white guy, old white guy that went to a grammar school. He probably would have gone to university. Um, but he got it years and years and years ago. Okay, This is not a new thing, but it's happening to me and it's happening to others at a much faster rate. And he wrote a pamphlet, I think he wrote a pamphlet about it connecting with your heart. Um, that's all you have to do is connect with your heart chakra. If we all connected to what we are supposed to be connected to and just live in our hearts um, and just live our lives like that, there'll be less um, violence, sex offences, racism in the world because you know that you are connected to that person. Why would you hate them when they, when they could be you? You're connected. Okay, um, 
people wouldn't steal because it wouldn't be in their hearts to steal. You know what I mean? There's people that are sex offenders, that are stalked sex offenders, and they cannot understand us. People who don't rape children, who don't rape, rape adults, they can't understand our thinking, just as we can't understand, can't understand their thinking. I don't get it. You'd be surprised how many um, counsellors, how many people, like I said before, are involved in this programme, know that it's evil, full-blown evil. They know that they're not good, they're not doing it for the benefit of mankind or Earth at all. They know this programme is coming in, the energies are coming in, so that's why it's been sort of like wars left, right and centre and um, it's willing, there's certain, let's say, um, political, our politicians in the UK, they do what they're told, they're picked because they will, will, they will parrot whatever their handlers tell them. We haven't got a politician in this country that will speak from their mind, that are intelligent enough and got enough common sense and enough integrity and compassion to speak for the country to actually um, run the country how, how they see fit. It's got handlers to do them. They've always had advisors. Um, now, fuck all that. They've got handlers, OK? Whatever comes out of that new one's gob, it's, it's, got, it's got so many entity attachments. It's on me, hasn't he, family? I don't know its name. Is it Stammer? I don't know. It's no fucking point in knowing the names. Anyway, yes. So... Repeat again before I go off, go off on one. Sex offenders. <sighs> okay. Serial sex offenders, um, especially paedophiles, have no connection to the creator whatsoever. Is that correct, family? They have no connection. And this is why, yeah, confirm that. I think it's a craft. They are craft touch delights. Okay, and like I said, anybody, um, the targeting program is the core of it is controlled, and the other sort of bit of that control is sexual deviance behaviour. Is that correct, family? Okay, and you're going to look at the labour councillors. In Derby, look at the Labour councillors, look at all the councillors, um, new faces that you haven't seen, look at the new parliament members, and it's going to be new faces that you've seen because they put people in that will just be a mouthpiece for the entities that are controlling them. So I've got handlers um, that they've sold the soul, they've got nothing, there's nothing good, or, or the energy is just fucking awful. Isn't it, family? It's just awful. And like I say, it wasn't I, the way I speak about these fucking wretched creatures, I would never, there's another flying craft, flying objects. I don't know if you pick it up. It's that way. Okay. I would never have spoken um, regarding anybody or any living thing to call them repulsive or rancid or be physically repulsed by them being in their presence, uh, but even when the fucking going full wallop and trying to um, target me even more, trying to break me, they're so stupid and they know that they're, my repulsion at them, of them and what they stand for, stops that. It's so funny, it's quite laughable. Not right, family. So when they're trying to fix me up with a fucking racist or a fucking undercover police who likes to rape infants and I don't think that me knowing that and knowing that it's, it's been part of this programme since the very beginning that I would be repulsed by it. just the thought of being with something like that you might as well fucking shag a spider makes no sense but you know what I mean you might as well this is how revolting these creatures are and by the way I'm going to say that when you, um, I'm going to log off in a minute, I just want to make this clear. When you interact with them, okay, there's two things could happen. Either you're going to interact and they are not going to try to take over or try to control your mood or affect your mood. 
in, to lower your vibration. So they'll either be um, very snarky, very angry, make you anxious, make you wait, make you angry, be in your face, um, or they'll be very, um, I don't know, that um, insectoid, what's its fucking name, Bennett, Harley Bennett, um, I thought one of the last times I saw, or one of the times I saw her regarding the targeting, regarding the rapist, Paul Burgess, and she says, and I wrote them a letter, wrote them an email, and she sort of like, came in and she said to her head, um, put her head to the side and goes, who's Paul, by the way, who's Paul, and, and it was like a fucking gas leak, gas leak, gas lighting situation, they do it in a softly, softly voice, so if you was to react they want your reaction, what I'm basically saying. They want you to react in a negative fashion back towards them. They need to feed off negative energy. Is that correct, family? If you're chilled and you're relaxed and you, you see what they're doing, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you have to um, respond. Because they need to feed off a human's misery, the, the lower vibration frequency of emotions. So you're, to get you anxious, to get you um, nervous, to get you fear-filled, to get you angry. They need that. So that's why the news is perpetuating violence and it's always... They have to do that because our natural human nature is to be quite light-hearted, quite to be joyful and content with life. That's why there's news, folks. Get your fucking juices going. Keep going, oh, look at that. That's terrible. Another stabbing, another shooting, another war. Blah, blah, blah. All to lower your vibrations. Is that so funny? So the entities on them would has, has the first feed, so to speak. I've actually seen this and it, it is true. The entities on them, whether it's insectoid like Bennett or a grey, like an undercover police officer, female or so. Fucking now, or a demon literally that looks human that's standing beside them, whatever it is that's attached to them will always feed first. There's another flying craft. Oh, hi, family. It's flying upwards. Okay. Um, here we go, here we go. I won't be long now, family, thank you. Um, yeah, so they will always try to instill a negative um, or a pissed off, make you pissed off slightly, or make you fed up, or make you anything that can lower your vibration, any interaction that you have with them. There's another one. But it's smaller, can you see it? Oh, you're busy tonight. I might shut up in a minute, so I just watch them, okay? You can watch them for yourself. And you can see that they come from out of nowhere, apparently. Wink, wink. Ah. Okay. So, yeah, cause and negative reaction. My natural um, characteristics in me um, is, do you know, if people realise the amount of don't give a fuck, I, I I literally feel in life just generally the be surprised, but literally this you know and even though I notice things, I notice the creature beast and and the entities on the beast i don't react um that's one of the first things I noticed, and I said this previously it's strange how you will notice the entity or entities on these beasts before you notice the human in front of you. It sounds very strange, but it's so true. You will notice their energy, the energetic field, and whatever entities attached to them. That's so funny. You don't realise, we don't realise how important energy is. They do. The Freemasons in their fuckery do. And the secret societies realise just how important energy is. Okay, um, I forgot what I was going to say. So my family confirmed that everybody, sex offenders, okay, are the, and this is every species on earth, I want you to think about that, and every species on earth, every animal, 
every insect, every plant, look, and then look and go outside Earth, go to the beings that are on other planets that are still in our solar system. They are other, they are other beings on our planets, by the way. Some very much like us, more evolved humans, how we are meant to be, and some not so. Don't know nothing like us, but they're still doing their thing on their planet. I want, and also the dimensions. Is that a police car? How nice of me to say it like that. Well done, me. Yeah, it is. It's the same one in it. Fucking beast. I wish I could have got its number. Anyway, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, they're the lowest life force. I found to confirm it before I log off or not blind cat they the lowest life force conscious life force within earth in the solar system and in the galaxy can we confirm that i think we talked about the sex offenders first and then i go on about the creature beast again and it's not something like i said previously on my post i've worked with sex offenders and um, previous to my previous life over jobs life i mean in this life when i was younger when you hit 54, you think, fucking hell, when you're 20, that's a lifetime ago. This is what I mean, okay, when I say previous life. Um, and you have to cut off your feelings, you'd be very professional, and you just do what you have to do, okay, within that job. And I've never really given them much thought up until this point, this targeting, when the fucking undercover police officers were fucking insistent and rampant about infant rape, in child abuse, that's their thing. Look at the head of Derby Council, look at the head of Dudley Council, look at the MPs, they know this is happening, they know I'm being targeted, forget the targeting for a moment, just look at the what's happening with um, police officers and sex offenders and blah 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 and they will do a, yeah, nothing before I forget, I've lost my train of thought then. Um, they will put females, especially black females, so there's a black female, I think it's Derbyshire Police Crime Commissioner, okay, in roles. So people will doubt that a female, especially a black female, would um, take sides with racist sex offenders or sex offenders just generally forget the race for a moment there's a female you think that she would have more compassion um and more empathy no no and that's another um mocking of humanity mocking of society so they put females in roles where we automatically think that females are more caring in their nature and in their policies and in their thinking. They're going to be for uh, the underdog and not to incite violence or not to um, link themselves. Oh, there's another crap. Oh, you're busy tonight. Go and just go dancing again. I saw this. Hi, family. Isn't that beautiful? It's flying up, I was wondering where they're going. Going to the next club, in it. There's the police beast again. Look at that, eh? You fuckers. I can't wait to get what, what's going to happen to them happen to them anyway i forgot what i was going to say family yeah so they've put females in roles on purpose okay and it's to mock humanity it's to mock the humans our motherly instinct apparently in the commas of humans of a female of the females of the species okay that's so family I'm just zoom in a bit is that so family and it's everything is to mock. And it goes back to the demons and our creators um, fighting, basically. Fighting for, for us and fighting for them, wanting to control us. Is that correct, family? We are part, one part of a very, very long battle. 
and I don't want to say between good and evil because it sounds religious in its connotations but it actually is that is that safe of me? see it doing its thing okay um, and everybody involved in this program knows that that's why there's a greater um, percentage of child molesters within this program and because of their what they look like and their job titles you'll never think them to be child molesters or you get people that know that they're working next to a child molester and not giving a shit because their their thinking their their energetic frequency has been influenced by whatever entity has attached itself to them it, ne it will never be a positive entity it will be a negative entity an entity that causes pain like the insectoids their thinking, I think part of their thinking is just that's what they are, that's what they do. They feed off the energetic frequency of sadness, pain, misery. That's how they survive. So that's so family. So with the, and also with the greys as well. I don't know who got this product story about the greys being um, for humanity or being used by... Um, entities or beings more powerful than them, that's not the case and they've actually seen greys um, some of them are fucking awful and the demonic entities, some are sort of like um, very intentional in their what they're doing, very very intentional they're very, they've been around a lot longer than we have in our civilization. okay, and some of them are so are quite childish and churlish in their attitude and they're the ones that be laughing in the background somebody was getting sawn into you they'd be the ones laughing in the background and, and cheering on and getting a buzz out of it where there's other greys that are, are meticulous in their approach and plan things and then there's the insectoids there's so many different groups um, positive and negative, um, parasitic in nature, non-parasitic in nature. Um, the UFO community will tell you, oh, there's 25, there's 26, or there's, or there's 67, or whatever number they come up with of entities within the solar system. Um, and it's aliens, if you like, within the solar system. And there's not, there's thousands, absolutely thousands and some of them are just doing their own thing, not interested in us. Some of them are, are interested in us and have been interested in Earth for a very long time. Like I say, this has been going on for a very long time during this civilization. Okay. Um, they've tried in other, yes, family, agree, yeah. They've tried in other civilizations and it hasn't worked. And they've tried in civilizations where all we've done as a species and all they have done is battle. So they've been, our civilization has just been one of battlement. Okay, battlement's a word, isn't it? Yeah, battlement. But now this, and it's all to do with the frequencies coming in, okay? Like when I said that in all these creatures, um, creature beasts, there's always a darkness, always, they've always got a dark aura, always. They're not, their energy is not connected to the energy on Earth. Is that correct, family? Look at your MPs. Okay. Um, look at the people I name. Just go. Go and have a look. Look at Simon Foster. Oh, bless him. He's covered with them, isn't he? Covered with the demons. But serves him right. And, and like I keep saying, um, the demons attach to you because of your energy, because of your thinking. And it takes more for you to be angry for a short amount of time, whether it's for a minute, a day, two days, a year, for you to be, or for you to be low mood or depressed, it takes a lot more than that. It's your soul. It's the energetic frequency of your soul that is attached. But yeah, energetic frequency of your soul will, will. I can't think of a word. Right, tip of my tongue. Will be the cause of whatever attachments you have. Okay. There's a shortcut to it, like I said, the creature beasts, where they've tried to recruit me. Fucking idiots. And they know how much I hate them. They know that it, it's repulsive. They know I find them repulsive. I'm not scared. I'm not 
they're just repulsive entities and they, and they think because they're in this group because they're part of the system that they're hard that they they're masterful they're not i can see the demons feeding off you and i see the demons move away from you when I'm near, like when I open a door to a delivery guy or to a taxi guy, I come out to a taxi guy and I can see the, the shift in there and just feel that I can actually sometimes, some of them you can see the actual shadow move or you can actually see the entity move away from my energetic field. Is that so, family? And this is what I want to get across to people. I'm learning as I'm going on, folks, as well. Um, your energetic field will increase, mine has. Um, and it's not to do with I'm linking to the UFO, it's not flying craft. Bits of disco dancing. Quite jealous. Yeah, I can't get it anymore, okay. Um, it's linked to the, their inner being, okay. Um, there's so many people in the media that put on a false facade of what they are. They're all smiling, they're all teeth, they're all, oh, I'm so funny, 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 funny. Off behind cameras, the nasty bastards, best way to put it. The vile entities that do it because um, they can do it. And secondly, their handlers, their bosses, their agents have told them, okay, you want to be famous, you do X, Y and Z. You say X, Y, and Z. Okay, how much are you prepared to do for that fame? And with the creature beast, they've even said they want to be posted. Go back and look, I can't see which one, where they've even said it's really easy to join us. Join us, it's really easy. All you've got to do is say a few things. Even children can say, This is how fucking sick these creatures are. Okay, no being that's connected to the creator would put their children, their grandchildren, in harm's way. You fight for your offspring. Every single person that is a grandparent, that is a parent, that is part of this programme, have indoct indoctrinated their children, their grandchildren in this programme. In the full awareness that they, have, they will have demons attached to them. I want you to fucking think just how fucked up these creatures are and how my revulsion... I keep saying, they keep saying stuff and I think, OK, they can't say anything more for me to be repulsed by them and then they'll do something or say something fuck you now you sick fucks you sick bag of fucks and then they say join us join us you know people want to meet you be famous you be this you be that do you know life on this earth and your soul's journey is very short it may appear long 100 years how much time is life span Eight or something, it depends where you live, I suppose. Um, but it's a short, literally, it's like that. Do you hear that click? It's that. And your soul will go on to back to your clan, back to another life. You might be reincarnated, reincarnated again, you might go off to another planet, whatever. Okay? But there's more to this. This physical body is just a temporary coat that you put on for X amount of time until you're reunited back to your clan. Your family, your creator. Is that so, family? Okay, thank you. And the creature beast and their handlers know that. And can you imagine they will stop a two year old, a three year old, wants to learn to speak and say, copy what I say, copy what Nana says, copy, just copy, and knowing that they're attaching their. Once your energy is taken over your soul your energetic frequency is taken over by these negative beings our creators your family can do nothing to save you because it's your it's your energy that's how they attract themselves to people it's your energetic frequency it's your soul okay we can't i say we can't nobody can save you your creator your god the higher beings that you're linked to, naturally linked to, cannot save you. Even that two-year-old child, poor bastards. Poor fucking bastards. Also, their grandpa or their grandma or their parent can have extra hundred quid. 
And also they get the child molesters, and like I said, there are so many child molesters within this program. So it's not just the parents, they've got other people grooming the children. I want you to think, I don't want to go into too much detail, but they even said, go back, don't take my word for it. I want you to go back to listen to what the creatures have said themselves. And then the cheeky bastards, the cheeky thick fucking bastards have the nerve to say, join us, join us. Anyway, I'm ranting now. And that's so fun. I know. And it was, they don't realise how repulsive I find them. And I hate, when I say my hatred towards them is soul level hatred. It is very soul level hatred. And when it's first started, and I'll repeat this, and the, and the handlers like Sid Majit, Chief Inspector um, Hobday knows this. Um, and the other creature beasts, when I lived in Lye, when I lived in Starbridge, they know this, that fucking used other means, other occult beings, that I didn't even know that I realised that I knew, against these creatures. That is how um, disgusted I was regarding what was happening. Okay? And, the, and that was when, because I, that's why I want to end on this one, the Freemasons were involved right from the very beginning, okay? And they get a kick out of saying their gulf, their pamphlet, their organisations, information is that, you know, they um, only seek people with integrity, um, that have a link, that, that believes in a greater force than themselves, that are compassionate and that they give to charity and blah, blah, blah. Right at the beginning of this, is that so family? And I've gone on about Freemasons and about what's behind the Freemasons. It's a demonic entity. They're not, you're not, they don't even look human. Is that so, family? The entities that are attached to the Freemason organisation is not even fucking human in nature. And they're using the Freemasons to feed off. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> it is quite hilarious when you think about it. And that's so, family. And the head of Freemasons, is it Beastmaster, whatever it's called, they know this. I don't know if they're telling the recruits, but I think most people now that are joining the targeting programme, um, they get a lot of quite thick people and quite a lot of drunks. Um, and obviously time molesters, because the police will say, yeah, come with us, join us, you'll be all right, you can do what you want, we'll set you up with a kid. What are you into? Two-year-olds, four-year-olds, boy, girl, what are you into, love? I say it as a joke, but it's very true, and they know this. And that's so family. Am I correct? You went up, but then you went down, and then you shaped to side to side. Is that correct? Okay. And you will notice... That the light above it as well, to the to the right of it, moves at the same time um, as the main one. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, and that's why in the beginning, and you, and especially at the beginning, I've always said if you're Freemason, get out. Don't join. Don't don't renew your membership. Don't attend the meetings. Don't do shit. If you what if you're into um, and you're aware of um, other forces energetic forces in the world and you don't want to be part of it just leave don't even give them the courtesy of announcing that you're leaving just go you don't owe these creatures anything literally unless you want to give them your soul and then you know fucking Bobby's your uncle do what you want but right at the beginning the Freemasons used a psychic Evil occult knowledge. I'm not going to say dark occult knowledge, but um, evil occult knowledge um, to try to head fuck me and get all the entities to surround me because they couldn't um, break me with fucking police officers banging on the door, shouting, fucking nigga, get out, nigga, 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 get out, get out. And all that shit for fucking hours on end. Also, try to set up um, child molesting situations. With the creature beast across from me, the rapist Paul Burgess, Paul, Paul Burgess, and his partner, fucking ugly mug Sylvia. It was equally a revolting sexual demon to see, who was set up by the police actually, 
three couples that right family they haven't got the social skills to go out to they haven't got the social skills these are not sophisticated charming witty people that west Midlands are protecting these are the dregs that haven't got the social skills to go out in a pub to have a job to have a hobby to mingle with ordinary people Full stop. Is that correct, family? So these are not sophisticated. Oh, we need you, people. They need him because he's a serial sex offender. It's a serial rapist. They need her because she'll shag anything for fucking can of beer. Okay, I'm going on now. 40 minutes. Any more for any more? Any more fine craft? So, like, yeah, so... And you don't have to be good, because I thought this, we have to be good, you know, in the spiritual community and the New Age community and religions, various religions, people are very humble and they're very meek and, you know, you must forgive and you must forget and you must blah, blah, blah and do this and to connect with higher beings, stop eating meat and don't drink or smoke and blah, blah. That's a load of bollocks, folks. I've yet to see anybody, because I looked, listen, when I've, this first started I was searching everywhere on the internet everywhere I listened to so many different people literally black white male female young old Asian part part living in Asia um so many different people so many people that says yeah I've just recently this recently happened to me and blah 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 and my energy's increased a lot to people that um top said like um Simon Parks that says yeah I'm, I'm part um what was he what insect was he a part of? Um, anyway, he said he's part alien insect thing and part human and his family was in the Freemasons and he was an MP and he did this and he's risking his life saying there's all this information that he's getting from the CIA or the Secret Service and to people that are saying, oh, I'm new to this and well, and this is what's happening and I've noticed this feeling, I've noticed that, this is happening. I listen to them all. And not one of them, except for the guy when I first started this broadcast, and said, or there was a guy that says, and he was very meek and he was very calm. Um, and like I said, I think he was British. He sounded like a British male. He went to grammar school, he would have went to university, a middle class guy, and he was saying, don't have heroes. All you've got to do is lead with your heart. And this is what I'm saying to everybody, whoever listens to this. Yes, you can swear, you don't have to be holier than that. But if you don't fuck people over for the sake of fucking people over so you get a kick out of it, that makes you one of them. The worst things you can be um, in life, it's not a murderer, I've said this previously, is that so, family? Depends how, if, you, if you're a serial killer, don't be fucking one of those. Don't think, oh, I'm saved, because you're not. Um, the worst things you, you can be and what the churches and what the prime ministers and the police makers won't tell you is a sex offender is a child rapist, is an infant rapist. Is that so, family? That's the worst act you can commit that will cut you off instantly from your family, from higher beings. Is that so, family? I'm not moving, okay. Um, another point made one right at the very um, beginning, I says, oh, Gregory Isaac, I mean, anybody that knows... Um, Jamaican singers, dancehall singers, you know, you'll know who Gregory Isaac is. And even his family, I'm not going to chat the man's business, but he didn't li live a holier-than-thou life. And he's still connected with his family. Is that so? His clan. Okay? And it doesn't mean when we connect with our clan that they won't grab us up and say, listen, we need to chat and take you out and you've done this and when you were 24 to between 27 you did this and no the will but you'd rather me i'd rather be told and be spoken to and be dealt with by my family my clan where i know there's love behind it than fucking sell myself to whatever demon because a police officer scared me and he made me do it and you fucked forever with this demon torturing you to feed off your pain Okay, you don't have to live a holier than thou life. Uh, most humans, if left alone in society, would sort themselves out. Would would 
take all the psychopaths and the sadists out of it, and the sex offenders, of course, out of it, most human societies will evolve. They've purposely stopped evolving <coughs> communities and countries on purpose. Funding has been cut left, right and centre on purpose. <coughs> I'm going now, becoming a bit hoarse. Not literally, folks. That's so family. The same what's being done to dampen. There's another flying craft. Hopefully smaller this time. Zoom in. I want to know where you're going. Seriously. I think you're going disco dancing, personally. Going to a blues. Hmm? Going to a blues somewhere in Derby. Where's it going? I wish you know which direction it was going to. Somebody was to pop their head out the window now, I might say it. <coughs> anyway, getting off now, yeah. Going off now, so I just want to, I wanted to bring, yeah, what I was going to say yesterday, up front so my family can confirm yet again, one more time, family, the lowest consciousness, consciousness being, life force with it on Earth, and in the solar system, in the galaxy, one of the lowest, I should say, are the creature beast. People got that? They are the creature beast. And the reason why I say this, their handlers big them up. Oh, you're wonderful, you're this or that, and it's all ego-based. Everything about them and it's ego-based. I should have waited for a response before I start. So yeah, family confirm that. That they're one of the lowest consciousness entities on earth. They're just food now. For whatever demon wants to feed off their energy. And when they die, they'll be tortured, so they will be fed. The consciousness will still remain. So that's how they know. It's not like they, the energy will leave the body and they become just energetic things. When we die, we go back. So part of my energy, part of who I am, my soul, when I return to my family... We report back and say, oh yeah, I did this. And that's part of, that's, my, that's me, my inner being. I think I did a, a right post uh, regarding about some of my family um, having jokes. Um, there's another craft. Hello. Is it please craft? I did tell you that once... Um, were flying through the sky and all of a sudden um, there's like a helicopter or something from this earth I don't know helicopters but I could tell it was from me, helicopters or heli I don't know what it was, anyway um, and then it flew behind, what like my family so it flew behind it and all of a sudden a second family a light, consciousness circle came behind that, it looks like a follower of them and it was like it, this helicopter was in a sandwich oh did you see that one going up to. Death moments of not being this busy. Okay, since last week, I know I've got that. But usually, folks, I'm really watching this, they're not usually this busy, are they? Things are afoot happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's a joke. Don't want to scare anybody. And also, one other thing as well, I forgot where I was with that um, craft. Um, they will do, when you connect with your family, when you connect with your clan, they will do nothing that will scare you. Nothing at all that will scare you. If you're abducted and you find yourself on a fucking steel bench and you've got grey aliens around you and then you wake up and you say, oh, they were doing stuff, I don't know what they're doing, but I felt quite nice. Um, they fucked, planted the thought in your head, they planted that feeling. I guess I've said this previously, to be kidnapped out of your bed by creatures, by anybody, by you and by anybody, is fucked up, it's wrong, it's just wrong, altogether all wrong in every possible way. Okay, um, my family, I've stopped doing things because it annoyed me, is that correct family? Literally, it just pissed me right off. I'm sorry now. Um, and they've never done anything to scare me. 
they've stopped immediately. I thought, oh, especially about the beginning, I was like, oh my god, flashing red, Francis got red, there's danger, and I'm like, oh, and they stopped. Flashing red, thought, oh, now they're doing it all, you know what I mean? All colours, green, red, amber, and that's safe, family. So when you connect, you will, they will do anything, connect with you any way possible, but it won't be to cause you fear. You should never feel fear, fearful, or you would, they will stop immediately. You never, they will never kidnap you. They will never um, run experiments on you at all. That's that's fucking, and their graves are part of that. And they never say people that have been kidnapped have been, and there are people that have had these experiences, real experiences. Poor bastards. That's all I can say. Um, there's nothing they could do. I don't know why their family, their own clan, doesn't link into them. Maybe they're not as nice. I don't believe all of them are horrible people. I don't know why. To tell you the truth, I don't, I don't know why. Um, I'm not going into that one. Um, but yeah, I've never been, even though I have been the board of craft, and I'll say that another time. Um, and they told me I was going to attend a meeting. It's going to sound, I'm sounding weird now, aren't I? Really? Yes, you've said James. She's gone too fucking far now. She says she's been bored of craft and never kidnapped her. So what's happening? But another time, I'll go into that in more detail. What am I going to go for now? I've been just nearly 40 minutes. It's gone. What time is it? Okay. It's nearly an hour. Oh, thank you, family. So I wanted to start with this question and end with this question because the egos of these creature beasts, they've been, and they have these egos because the demon that have possessed them and their handlers want them to continue doing their work. So they big them up. I think, and they've changed the way they walk. I've told you about their John's false walks from these creatures. They all have the same walk. They'll have their hair done. They'll have manicures. They'll have pedicures. Um, anything to make them feel nice and it's all ego based it's nothing um to do with in, in them evolving as human beings because why should they evolve the beings on them are, see them as food and they've actually said that why should we tell them the truth when they're just food that it's illogical to them and, and when i say them i mean the demons on them the beings the insectoids the other negative entities on them this is what was said right at the beginning as well why should we tell them the truth food it's, it's illogical to even pose that question they don't see the humans that on them as 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 having any rights whatsoever whatsoever okay is that so family that's correct in it family that's true in it tell them tell them, tell them. And that was one of the fact that, like, like I say, in the very beginning, they told me loads of things, and this is what I say. Because I was like, why would the why why would humans not know this? Because I've told so much information, especially about the Freemasons, and um, that they've got entities, and they the entities attached to the group as a whole, and negative beings just feeding off them. And I was saying, so don't the question, don't the Freemasons question it? Don't people question it? Says why? Why would we let them question it? Why would we tell them the truth? Why would why? Because they control how they think. So if the big, they're, if they've got egos, make them think that they're special. Make them think that they're above anybody else in Earth. That they've got the secret knowledge of what's going off in Earth, what's happened in the past, what's happened in previous civilization. We'll give them that. Say that they are superior. And that's so family. And my family says, why, you know, the entities that control them, they don't think, why should we tell them anything? The food, all they are is food to them. Okay, the clouds are clouding over now and I'm getting tired. Thank you, family. I know you can shine through the clouds. I'm getting very tired now. And the clouds seem to appear roughly at the same time each was last night but thank you family yet again and i'll move on to another subject tomorrow i plan to think so this tonight is to do with the consciousness of these creature bees being the one of the lowest life forces on earth 
in the galaxy, in the solar system. They're one of the lowest life forces, even though they big themselves up and think that they're all this and that. Um, because the entities that attach to them, the handlers tell them this. It's quite fucking stupid, actually. That's so family. So that's why there's racism. That's why there's um, male against females. I've, always, I've said this pre previously. It's all about division. It's all about um, one sector of society feeling superior to the other. And the main people um, that started this off, that's been put in power, is such a small clan of the DNA frequency that were put into the surf, not by the creator. They weren't created by the creator. Is that so, family? Shine at me through this cloud line. They weren't placed on earth. I think I'm going to lead with that next time. But the DNA sequence that that's controlling earth now, that have brought in others that weren't put on earth by the creator. So I'm going now. Can't see any more crap. My arse is getting sore. Well, it's dead actually. It's sore. But yeah. Anyway. See those beasties doing their thing. Thank you, family. I know you can see the windows are dirty, but um, in my defence, I can't clean them because they're on the inside of double glazing. Derby Council, don't you just love them? So I'm going to end with my family poking through. <clears throat> and today my real self, my soul self, um, I'm actually quite um, very assertive. <laughs> I laugh when I say that because it's yeah I don't take no fucking shit my soul nature you know, I'm led to believe by the spiritual gurus and the ones um, that you have to be quite humble everybody's got the same personality type and traits and blah de blah de blah it's not that at all they lie I'm funny as well I'm fucking hilarious Anyway, for now, folks, bye. Thank you, family. Gonna look at the lovely cloud line. Look at that. So, next time, I'm gonna talk about the DNA. I put off talking about um, the DNA sequence. Oh, there's my family. I'm pointing in the right direction for a very, very long time. Very long time. Um, and it's only a small percent of people on earth and it's not white people per se it's a certain um small dna type on earth very small dna type structure on earth that people seem to want to emulate and be like and join the joneses people with is it people with the joneses that type of energetic field being perforated in, in our society I'm trying to zoom in folks it's gone down thank you family any more for any more any more flying crafts going disco dancing you know what you do you think I'm joking about this I asked them because that's some questions um, well, yeah so you might talk about um, the DNA sequence on Earth that's never been put, that was never created by the creators, and what's happening regarding various countries and politicians and state leaders, etc., etc. That is, they really want to share information about that. They just I've just seen one shine through. A light. Okay. If you're easily upset regarding having your beliefs challenged, don't watch the next one. You'll just be angry. Literally. You're steaming. 
for now, folks. Bye.